So today on the table, I've got myself a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now this particular one is in just for a very simple repair. The back cover is cracked. So with that, I've had it sitting on the heat pad now at 75 degrees Celsius for about five minutes. And I've just put some isopropyl on my fin pry tool. And it's pretty straightforward to get into this model. Compared to earlier Samsungs, it's definitely a lot easier to get into the 10s. So I'm not sure if it's because they've used thinner material, so it's not as wide when they've applied it, or if it's different, essentially stickiness. But I definitely find the combination of heat, isopropyl, and a thin metal pry tool to cut through it quite easily. So in this one it was a little bit more difficult just because the panel wasn't fully, well, it was cracked. And when you try and lift it up in one corner it just shatters further. But I found getting into this to be quite simple. And overall, a good rookie repair. Also because of it, unless you're really jamming the pry tool in to hit, you're not really going to clip any cords, wireless charging pads, various flex cables that may be running in there. It's relatively shielded, so unless you're too rough, you should be right getting into there. So now that I've got the back off, the replacement back that I've got, I do not like the adhesive they've got on there. A, it peeled off really easily as I was trying to lift off the backing. But two, it seems to be relatively too thick. So I'm going to leave the inner parts that are there. And then I'm going to apply some B5000 just around the perimeter, stick it down, and go from there. So I'm relatively sure that there's not many glass fragments, as most of it left really well. Or actually, not B5000, B7000. So this stuff here is a frame adhesive that has a very strong bond. I've found it work really well on most things, even like old plastic toys, stuff like that. But anyway, I'm just applying it all around the outer perimeter. And then I'll proceed just to put the new back cover on, heat up the heat pad, and let it bake for a bit. So from here, I'm going to head off. I'll let the video play out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.